All right. Okay. Just going to cut right into this. I mean, like, honestly, the biggest foreign policy question for you, for the United States right now, in my opinion, is if or when Taiwan is invaded by China, will the U.S. Uh, back up Taiwan? And I don't mean just selling them weapons. We already sell them weapons. Uh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, getting in a fight. Okay, and yeah, China has nuclear weapons, and they're they're wanting to get more. This is recently that they they uh, want to stockpile on their nukes. Uh, but yeah, should the U.S. Uh, defend Taiwan? I I say absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Look, okay, let's first look at what China's doing. Okay, I know we all know about the Uyghurs. Okay, well, there's other little details too. China's one child policy and their two child policy. Now they have a three child policy. It just hasn't worked. And there, there's too many men because, you know, girls were not wanted with the one-child policy. So they have too many guys. So they're, ma they're making these, a lot of these Uyghur women uh, marry Chinese uh, uh, and have children with them. That's just one thing. We know about other stuff. All the camps. We have it on satellites. We, we have it. I mean, we know that. We know that. Okay. Uh, and Hong Kong. <laughs> in fact, they just put, they're, they're putting in politicians in Hong Kong that are pro-China, the pro-mainland. Uh, so honk, yeah, their, 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 their rights are, are going down. Okay. That's why a lot of investment investments, you know, have left, uh, Hong Kong and their sanctions there. I mean, it's just, it's, it's different. It's changed. And China, China's doing that. Uh, obviously most of us know about them building, uh, islands in the South China Sea and taking other countries' islands and, uh, building, turning them into military, you know, aircraft, not aircraft, not, yeah, they are aircraft carriers, but they're just stagnant. But there's a bunch of them. They want to control that area. They want to control uh, that area. Taiwan's right there. They want. They want Taiwan. China. China says, "Oh no, Taiwan's just China." You know, we're going to reunite it. That's what they tell their people. You know, that's the whole thing. Is you know the one the uh, one China policy. That's another. You know, uh, I'm not going to get into that right now. But uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so, so they want to control that whole area, South China, East China Sea, South China Sea, uh, and they're bullying, they're bullying, uh, the Philippines, they're bullying, uh, Malaysia. Yeah. You know what they did the other day? They flew 16 military aircraft in Malaysia's airspace. Okay. Uh, they have flown in the last few months, they have flown, uh, record amounts of, uh, military aircraft in Taiwan's airspace. Okay. Um, they even a few years ago, they, they had this uh, uh, propaganda video and it showed Chinese jets over Taiwan and like, you know, like they could bomb it and stuff. I mean, just, just, that's just what it is. That's what it is. Uh, so we know what they want. They, they, they've been trained for amphibious, uh, amphibious uh, missions and stuff. Now it's a very hard thing to do, you know, even just in the little Taiwan Strait. I mean, amphibious landing and then uh controlling millions of people you know uh because they have to occupy it you know occupying it is i mean it's it's very 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 difficult uh to do and they there, there's not any there's not any uh combat you know uh experienced uh combat hardened uh uh soldiers in the chinese military too and they don't train do they don't freaking their, their training is just not as live fire like the West and stuff. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot of question marks uh, with the Chinese military and how powerful they actually are. I will tell you though, they spend hundreds of billions of dollars on their military, you know, and the, the U.S. spends more, but there's a lot of black money that we, we don't know exactly how much they spend, but we know they do let us know that they spend hundreds of billions of dollars on it. They just landed, they just landed in the frick on the, on Mars, as we know, they, they landed, they landed a rover. Uh, on Mars too. So, I mean, they're a serious player. We know that, you know, obviously, you know, we have the space force now, which is absolutely necessary. You know, uh, Russia and China have been developing, you know, they're developing missiles that can shoot down satellites. Cause if you shoot down satellites, you don't have your communications, you know, you don't have your, you're not, you're not going to have your freaking laser guided bombs. You're not going to, you know what I mean? Like these are, just, of course that's, that's, that's the war. The war is going to be in space. You know, what, what, you know, if you're, you're, if you can't communicate and you're on a jet and the, per, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's gone. It's gone. You know, uh, we like our cell phones, right? We like the internet. Well, you're shooting down satellites, you know, 
So yeah, the, U the U.S. is doing the same thing. We've actually shot down a satellite with a Patriot missile. Patriot missiles have been around a while. And it was just to redirect it so it fell in the ocean or something. But, uh, but yeah, dude, China, China, yeah, they're, sorry, they're, bull they're bullying people, dude. The Philippines and whatever. I mean, they, they're sending all these fishing boats that are armor plated and they're lining up by the Philippines trying to intimidate them. Uh, but they're, they're, they're kind of fighting back. China doesn't have a lot of allies or even it's all unholy alliances. Uh, well, recently, 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 they also signed a deal with Iran a, a couple months ago. And, uh, they're gonna, yeah, dude, I, I know. If you're an American, at least, you don't really hear about this. Uh, you have to go read this stuff because our media, don't watch the media on TV. Don't even watch it. It's a waste of time. You're gonna hear about this other little thing here and they, and you're not gonna hear about like what's going on in the world and what's gonna happen here and how it will affect uh, I mean, it will affect, uh, us. I, I mean, there's a good chance if they invade Taiwan, if China invades Taiwan, there could be a world war. As we know, India and China in the last, in the last year have had skirmishes on their border where soldiers on both sides have died. If India and China went to war, it's a world war, period. If India and China, if India and China go to war, it is, will be a world war, period. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the allies that, that China has, dude. I mean, oh yeah, so so they're gonna, oh yeah, Iran, the Iran-China deal. So I, China's gonna help them with nuclear power ambitions and Iran's gonna give them a crap ton of oil for real cheap, okay? And that just went, you know, right after the new, administ new administration, boop, boop, handshake there. And uh, so they're, they're ready to pounce on that. They're ready to pounce on that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, dude, I'm telling you, and here's the thing too, here's another thing. Go read China state media, and that tells you everything, because it's the mouthpiece of the party. The Global Times is a, is a, the Global Times, in fact, I believe it's in, you know, I don't know, that some New York newspaper they bought, you know, on the, on the back of it, the Global Times, and it talks about China and stuff. A lot of people don't know, like, yeah, that, that's the C Chinese Communist Party's uh, news in America, but they have a bunch of other news, too, and you can read their state media and, uh, and like, you know, you watch like CSI as like Center for Strategic and International Studies as you can watch that on YouTube and just Hoover Institution or, uh, Brookings Institute and whatever, all these various ones, these are think tanks, you know, we, we, we read, we know, um, uh, what, uh, you know, people in the Chinese party and military are saying to one another. And if you read that and know what they're saying, you will know they are, they don't like uh, the United States. They don't like the West. They hate Japan and or and whatever, blah, 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 blah. And they want to be the most powerful nation in the world. And that's their ambition. Okay. I mean, that's, that's just what it is. I'm not going to get in. I mean, that is what it, I'm just saying like, that is a reality. Like you can't just bury your head in the sand. Every president, you know, I, I'm not, this is not a, yeah, I don't want this to be political, but I'm just saying, I'm just telling you that just what it is. All these presidents have been burying their head in the sand about China until that a-hole Trump. You know, whatever you think about, that's just what it is. I don't, it's not, but that's just what it is. So now it's not too late, but it's not good. But, uh, but that, that, that's just what it freaking is, dude. And uh, it is something that we've got to face. And this, again, this is the foreign policy question that the U.S. has to answer. And they got to answer it loud. We are sending senators over to, uh, or senators are going over to Taiwan. I don't know what ones. I better F and B bipartisan, or that's 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 real crap. You know that that's real real united and uh, strong uh, showing. Uh, it's got to be. It's it's got to be. You know. And another thing, yeah, like people talk to me about TikTok. F TikTok. You do not want TikTok. All of your data goes straight to the Communist Party. Do you know? Do you know if you're in Congress, you cannot have TikTok. Why? Then why, then why should it be here? I know the last administration wanted to make it illegal. Dude, you can't get a Chinese app in India anymore. When this all went down, same in Japan. You can't have it. You know, it, it uh, I think South Korea is doing stuff. But they, dude, Japan is a great ally. They're our best ally uh, out there in, in Asia, uh, in the Pacific, by far. Okay. And, uh, you know, South Korea is a little wishy-washy. I mean, they're much closer to us than China, but they're just a little, which I understand though, they're bordering China and you kind of got to do that soft play or kind of play both sides because you don't want to, you know, I, I understand that. And the United States could be, anyway, anyway, 
but uh, but yeah, and China China's trying to use soft power, influence. That's what you know. Hard power is war. Soft power is influence. Uh, you know, they've sent out their vaccines. They they love loaning. Yeah, they love loaning African nations a bunch of money with corrupt politicians, and then they're like, okay, but if you don't pay it back, then we get this port uh, for fifty years. Is what they they sign these things for fifty years and whatever. Well, now they control all these ports and they have all these military bases and stuff because, it, in fact, it's called Sri Lanka because they did it to Sri Lanka first and uh, that's what they do, uh, you know. And they're and they're doing that. They're really trying. They're they're you know trying to send aid to to countries and stuff, but no one really trusts them. Them and you know that people talk about China and Russia, dude. They're they're so the only thing that they have in common is beef beefs with the West. I mean, that is all it is. I mean, China is all about globalism. Russia is anti-globalism. I mean, at the, that's at the core. They're, they're in little rifts about the Arctic right now. Yeah, Russia, Russia stopped selling uh, military weapons, uh, weapons to China a while ago. They got really pissed off when they made the J-20 jet. They copied the United States and Russia. And then uh, once they were doing some other stuff, God, what did they do? I think it was some stuff with India because Russia sell India buys a ton of weapons from Russia. That's the Russian economy. It's oil and weapons. That's all it is. It's not very diverse. That's all it is. Um, but yeah, Russia doesn't sell anything to China anymore. So is that is that ally? I mean, you know what I mean. That's not really an ally at all. It's like an unholy, like hey, we're not. I mean, I, I don't know. You, you can't trust China. You cannot trust China, dude. Listen to what they freaking say, dude. Uh, that's all you need to do. And then let's watch their actions. I mean, that's the thing. They're, they're building all these military islands. And we're like, hey, you're building military islands. Like, no, we're not. No, no, we're not. We're not doing that. It's like, well, you got a runway there. And we can see you got some uh, a couple jets there. No, 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 no. You can see it all in satellites, dude. You can watch all the satellite. You see all the satellite imagery. And that's what they're doing. Uh but they just keep getting away with it. It's the it's the salami. Paul, that's the tactic. It's so they just are salami slicing a little bit here, a little bit there. What did he, look? Look at what the Nazis did. Look what Hitler did. I'm going to annex this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. When he after he invaded Poland and France and the UK uh, declared war on him, he was like, I mean, he's like, what? Like he couldn't believe it actually happened. He knew after World War One, nobody wanted to go to war. Except for Germany, because they wanted to, they, they thought they were screwed. They wanted to finish business, but no one, and he knew that, he knew that he used that to their advantage. China knows no one wants nuclear war. So now they're talking about stock. They're, they're, we have to get, we have to do this now. We have to make it very, very clear that this and this and this is not happening. It's not just, they want to take Taiwan. They, Indo yeah, Indonesia, they, they're bullying them and Indonesia has four subs. They're, they just announced they're re-up into 12. They're going to, they're going to, because, and they, because of China, straight up, you know, Malaysia, obviously I told you, flying stuff in their airspace now. Uh, you know, they want to control, I mean, I was looking at my map here, because they're going to get oil, they want to get oil from Iran, and it's going to come down the belly, you know, pat, through India, or past India, and then up South China Sea, East China Sea, that's that's their plan, you can see it plain as day. They want to control, they don't want freedom of navigation in the sea. They want to control this whole area, dictate a huge area and then once they control that and get the u.s and her allies out of there they want to control a lot of the asian nations uh there's a lot of racism in china they they, they spew out uh you know that that asia should just be a pure asian race uh area blah 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 even though they hate the japanese and i mean it's just like it, it's uh it's ridiculous you know i must say too people might, might not want to hear this if you go on blm's websites and you read what they say, it, it's like Chinese propaganda. They want to, I mean, abolish the Western male patriarch. I mean, abolish capitalism. Yeah, a few of their websites say they want to abolish capitalism. The one in Vancouver, abolish police, disrupt the nuclear family. I'm sure we, a lot of us know that, but abolish capitalism and the Western patriarch. I mean, that is Chinese state, state media right there. Some of it. I mean, you know, so think about that. Think about when the NBA puts that on their court. And I know I'm not saying if you're a BLM person, you might not even know this stuff. I know you're going with the movement, but you better think twice. If Okay, German lives matter. German lives matter. Okay, yeah, they're Marxists. They, they'll tell you, BLM people will tell you that they're Marxists, by the way. Real quick, though, with the NBA, I'm getting off topic. Think about it. NBA puts BLM on, on their court, okay? And they can wear stuff on their jerseys and stuff. 
Well, LeBron James, oh great LeBron James, he was gonna wear free Hong Kong on the back of his jersey. China said no, shut up and dribble, he stepped in line. What the hell, what is that? I, I don't watch the NBA anymore, that's why. That's literally why I'm like, wait, you care about human rights, but not really, you care about money. Cause big money in China with the, with the NBA. Uh, but, uh, oh crap, now I freaking forgot what I was gonna say, oh yeah. Yeah, uh, BLM. So yeah, they're they're uh, yeah they're Marxists. They'll tell you that. You can go. There's a TED talk. Go listen to the TED talk too. Uh, it's it, it'll it'll really give you some insight of how intelligent uh, they are, uh, and they have a lot of great ideas. Anyway, uh, so let German lives matter. Okay, let's let's say that uh, there were Germans, uh, you know, dying at the hands of police or what whatever it is. Okay. What do German lives matter? Of course German lives matter. But what if the people that started hashtag German lives matter and are organizing a lot of these, especially in the big cities, these protests, some of them, not all of them, turn into, you know what, burning down targets and people's businesses and rioting and looting and lots of violence. Uh, so let's just say that German lives matter started uh, with some Nazis. Because of course I'm not going to deny German lives matter. But it's like, you know, they were started by, you know, fascists. We'll just say fascists or what. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, so why is it appropriate with the communism? Why? Why? You know, and, and this is where I go back. Sorry, this is turning into more. But it is all China. It's all freaking China. China loves this. They love this. This is what it's all about, dude. I mean, this is what it's all about. Uh, their their state-run media loves to talk about the United States past. Because they're doing stuff now, so this is how they how they how they do stuff. We could talk about China's past too. We could talk about Japan. Every country has a terrible past. It was they conquered. They did. I mean, there's not really a, a you know a country with with all this this great. It's not just like yay kumbaya. No, humans kill each other. They conquer. They want land. They want money. It's greed. They, they're sin. They're sin. That's what it is. Um, it has nothing to do with white man or black man or they, no. We're all human beings and we all are corrupt and we all need a savior. And Jesus Christ is our savior, baby. How about that? Now it's turning into this. This is great. I think I'm done though now. I th but yeah, the, the moral of it is China bad. Actually, you know what? China bad, United States good, right? No, no. This Chinese Communist Party, those, those you know, the, that is the problem. And there is a faction. There is a faction in the, in the Communist Party. It's not great. Uh... You know, the Zhang faction, he was the, the leader before Xi Jinping. He was more, he wanted to open up China to the West capitalism, but he want, they want this capital communism thing. Because that's where they get the money. They, they would not have the wealth that they have if it was not for capitalism. That's what's so funny. You know, the Clinton administration opened that up, which I understand, you know, a lot of people rip Clinton for that. I do, but then I also go, he was using soft power. And it, and it might be, it, it is helping in a way, but it's really killing us in another way. You know, if you open that up and, you know, they start, you know, people watch American movies and American sports, basketball, they love basketball, you know what I mean? Like, blah, 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 you get this and that and you, and, and you kind of get a freedom. Humans love it. Humans love it, right? Once, once you get it and you taste it and you, and you, you know what I mean? And you got all these options and all these places you can go to eat and buy, life's just better. Uh... You know, so that's that's a form of soft power. So I understand why that was done, but it's just completely effing backfired, <laughs> big time. But uh, but I do find that amusing that uh, that China, uh, you know, they're, they're that's another thing. They're communists, but how come all the party officials live in this live in live in the the, the good life, the high life? It's ridiculous. If you if, I mean, come on, if communism not supposed to be like that, right? Well, it is. It always freaking is, dude. Humans are humans. They're going to want money and power. God bless all y'all. Fee for victory. Okay. Man, I got to make another video about Russia sometime or Germany, maybe. There's a lot of, there's a lot of crap going on. I love following this stuff. God bless and salute.